Hey, what's up? Good morning, guys. This is the second day here at Casa Santa Maria. Um, it started a little bit like the first, so we woke up around like 6.30 a.m. Uh, I really wanted to see a toucan. I haven't, still haven't seen one yet, but hopefully uh, maybe later today or tomorrow. Um, but So it was nice this morning, and then it started raining, so uh, very similar to the first day that we were here where um, you know we got a pretty big rain shower in the morning, and it cleared off in the afternoon. Hopefully that happens again today. Um, but right now we're just sitting around waiting for breakfast and yeah, hopefully after that we can get underway towards the Mayan temple. Alright guys, so here we have our breakfast for the day. I'm actually vlogging my iPhone right now, so let me know how it looks. Um, my other camera right now is kind of taking time lapse, but looks like we have some sausage, uh, bananas, I have no idea what that is, and some really good corn tortillas. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna sample it out and see how it is. All right, so he's gonna try this. We're not sure what it is. What do you think? It's all right. I think it's just a mixture of vegetables. Oh, you know? uh, is that all it is? It may, it may be something else. I mean. uh, well, that's kind of a bummer. It's mostly what I tasted with the vegetables. Okay, well, I'll give it a try then. Guys, these tortillas right here are by far the best tortillas I've ever had. Um, they're so good that you can still taste the corn and that you can eat by themselves, which, you know, is not anything we could ever say of any tortilla in the United States. All right, guys, we left our Airbnb and we're on our way to Sukuts, which is home to uh, the ruin we're going to visit, which is called Shenantanich. Um, hopefully, the rain clears off a little bit. It's still raining a little bit. Um, but either way, I think, you know, we'll, we'll have a good time. When we get there, from what I've heard, uh, we're gonna have to actually have to drive the truck onto a ferry and have the, that ferry take us across the river first, and then we'll drive up to the ruin. So we'll see, it should be fun and interesting. All right guys, we're back in civilization right now a little bit. Um, still the dirt roads, although it's a little bit wider. And actually interesting enough is you can, I don't know if you can see there on my phone, Let's see if the phone. So we just got cell service, but interesting enough, it's actually the Guatemalan uh, cell service, not the Belizean because they're so close to uh, Guatemala, so. Alright guys, so here we are, we're at the ferry, um, they're pulling us across right now, I have to get out and walk because they only allow one person in the car at a time. So to get us across, you have to crank it? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Dad. Finally, he's taking me somewhere. Yeah. All right, guys, here we are at Shenantanich, Shenantanich, which is the uh, archaeological Mayan ruin. You can see we're kind of in, this is Plaza A, right? This is our guide here. Remus. Remus. He's been fantastic so far, and hopefully he'll be teaching us a lot more about these uh, different ruins. All right, guys, we made it to the top of the El Castillo, and you can see uh, the rest of the ruin that way, and quite a good view of uh, Belize, oh, and Guatemala that way. <laughs> Alright guys, we just
just finished at Shenantanich. Uh, safe to say it was really awesome. Um, our guide, Ramos, was fantastic. He was giving us a lot of the history um, and, and why things were built and, and why they think some things were built a certain way. Um, it was really interesting to find that everything that was constructed was done with a purpose. So, uh, for example, on that main Castillo or castle, there was, you know, uh, 13 doors for to signify the hours up until noon. And then after that, there was five. Uh, for the to signify the underworld and such everything was oriented uh, according to a cardinal direction so the front of the temple was facing uh, east the back was facing west with both sides north and south it was also really interesting to see um, or hear about the uh, the way the ball court was oriented and the different theories about you know how they how the sport worked whether the winners or losers were sacrificed because I guess there's a lot of argument uh, among different archaeologists but anyway, now, so now that we're done with that, I think we're gonna go grab some uh, lunch here. Uh, Benny's Kitchen, which is really nearby, is highly recommended, so we're gonna go check it out. All right, guys, well, we ordered our food, but we also got um, Belokin, which is the Belizean beer. Um, and it's it's not bad. It's not the best beer in the world, but it, it's, you know, it, it's better than the average American beer. Um, a funny thing about it is they actually, uh, they make the glasses heavy so that the beer always looks full, so that you're more encouraged to drink more, um, which means you go through them faster and then obviously buy more beer. All right, guys, so the food has arrived. I got escoveche, which is chicken and onion and a kind of a lime spicy lime sauce with some rice and tortillas and my dad got nachos but it looks fantastic not very adventurous huh not very adventurous yeah <laughs> all right guys we just finished lunch at benny's and now we're gonna I think we're gonna head to san ignacio and explore the city a little bit uh, our guide when we were going to the um, mayan ruin uh ramus said that most everything should be closed because it's a sunday um, so hopefully not everything's closed and there's still a little bit of hustle and bustle uh, kind of like what we saw when we first drove in because I think that's kind of what we want to experience a little bit but uh, we'll find out hey guys so we made it here to San Ignacio we're parked in the uh, kind of parking lot uh, by the marketplace uh, but in case you can't hear it's absolutely pouring outside um, so we're kind of just chilling here in the truck eating some cookies and hanging out and waiting until the rain lets up so hopefully that happens soon my love it grows with the memories like a symphony and you and I we got all right guys, so we just left the marketplace. It was pretty barren. Um, that's not because it's not normally a really good place. Uh, it's just that it's Sunday and most places are closed. On Saturday is their big day. So if you're ever in San Ignacio on Saturday, make sure to go check out that marketplace. What's up, buddy? Hi. Uh, he's scared. Yeah. All right, guys. We just finished in San Ignacio after walking around for a little bit. Um, it started to really rain. I don't know if you can tell, but our hair is my hair soaked. Um, so we're heading back to the Airbnb now. Uh, again, the same thing with the marketplace. Uh, the city was cool um, when we first came in on Friday. It was definitely a lot busier, and that's because it was uh, not on Sunday. Here in Belize on Sunday, uh, people go to church, they relax, it's kind of like their, their, their day of rest, if you will. But definitely I would encourage you to uh, come out to this part of Belize. It was really cool, especially the first day we were driving in. Um, there was a lot going on, and you know, hopefully we'll see a little bit more of that tomorrow when we head back to Belize City. Alright guys, we're back here at dinner. It's a little bit later, as you can see, the, it's, it's a little bit darker outside. But uh, tonight we have some chicken with a really uh, good and fresh salsa and uh, with rice. Uh, my dad doesn't like rice, so he doesn't have it. Um, with some of that hibiscus juice again. So it, it looks really good. Alright guys, it's been kind of a chill night here at the Casa Santa Maria for the night. Um, we kind of just hung out and uh, did, I did a little bit of work on photos. My dad read a little bit. Um, but I think it's time to go to bed. Unfortunately, this is our last night here tomorrow. Um, we'll be leaving. We have to go drop the rental car off uh, back in Belize City and then we're going to take a ferry uh, to San Pedro um, where we have an Airbnb there on the island for the next couple of days. But overall, I think today was a really, really good day. Um, the Mayan uh, ruin was really cool. It was amazing being able to stand on such an old building and, and kind of look over uh, quite a bit of Belize. It was funny actually, our, our guide, uh, Ramus, 
he made a joke um, and said that, you know, uh, when a hurricane or a, even a tropical storm comes through and people's roofs go flying away, but, you know, here we are and this Mayan temple has still been there for, you know, thousands of years, which, you know, was funny, but is also, you know, really pretty true. It was a little disappointing um, going into San Ignacio and it being uh, such bad weather with it raining all the time um, and, uh, you know, it being Sunday so it not being so busy, but it still was really cool, uh, definitely a typical Latin American city. And if I'm ever back in Belize, I'm definitely going to try and make it there on a Saturday um, to see it being a little bit more busy and, and get a bit better experience there. Before we check out tomorrow, I think I'm going to... Uh, wake up really early so I talked to Lucy again about trying to see a toucan because again I really want to see them before we leave she said I should wake up around 6 a.m. to see one so I'm gonna wake up even earlier than I did this morning uh, to take a look at one and try and get a shot of one before we go and if I can't see one there uh, she recommended the zoo which I will very likely not be going to but anyway that's gonna end the video so if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel to see the rest of our adventures in Belize and I hope to see you soon